Hey guys, welcome back to another boss cutscene compilation Game Gear Edition. This time we're playing Iron Man Exo Man of War in Heavy Metal. If you're new to boss cutscenes, exactly what it says it is. I do the bosses and cutscenes of various games. Disclaimer, I generally use cheats, so you're not going to see any strategies or anything. You just see the cool stories and bosses. There exists a barrier between two worlds, an unseen wall that separates two universes, blissfully unaware of one another. Now that barrier has been breached, forcing both worlds together in an earth-shattering instant that could spell disaster for life as we know it. Mistress, Mistress Crescendo and Baron Zemo have joined their sinister forces and sordid allies in a shrouded conspiracy that reeks of evil. To uncover and stop the villainous plot, armored heroes Iron Man and Exo Man of War have banded together to battle side by side in Iron Man, Exo Man of War, in Heavy Metal. If you enjoy this, guys, please leave a like and subscribe. I do many of these, so go ahead and check the rest of them out, and let's get this started. All right, boss one. Yellow jacket. He'll shrink. How do I hit him? Oh, I get it. How do you get it? Okay. God, he's annoying. The controls are really stiff in this game. Is there any way I can hurt him faster? He takes a lot of hits. If I can kick him. Shoot him! What are you doing? Controls are awful in this game. Okay, that took a whole... What? I fell back, though. Oh, you can hit him when he's like that. I didn't realize that. Your blasts don't do a lot of damage. Your kicks and stuff do more. Hit him when he came by right there. That's nice. I can actually hit him right there. Oh, I got too close. Well, I hit him twice. More hit and he's done. Got him. Alright, here we go, Crescendo. Oh, she didn't fly at least. She throws little purple frisbees at me. Oh, that's just homing. Bam. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's messing my controls up. It's reversing my controls. I was making my controls go out of whack. Hit her. That's annoying. There we go. <laughs> and then I want to jump when that happens because I'm hit the wrong button. Mm. Just stay right there because she's going to keep doing that. There, kick her in the face. Get her. She's got two health left. One more kick. Or a shot. For my gun. Boom. Alright, boss three, a giant helicopter. How do you shoot it? Okay. As soon as you get up under and shoot like this. Yeah. I like how this has like little shmup sections. 
A lot of games did that back then, and I kind of like that, where you have, like, regular boss, and then it switches to, like, a shoot 'em up style boss. It works well in an Iron Man game, too. Am I hurting him when I do that? Yeah. I was like, I wondered if I was hitting, and it was just I was hitting him so much it wasn't reading the attacks. somewhere I need to shoot it at now that wasn't shooting it before Cause that's not hurting it no more the back maybe where do I gotta shoot it at now Cause wherever I'm shooting it's not hurting it anymore the back that's what I thought I was like I bet it's gonna be the back see the who can get it from there because the blade gets in the way? It's hard to hit it. You gotta stay here because you gotta get it to. Alright. Got it. Whew. These bosses, they take a little bit of a beat. Alright, here we go. Boss time. What do I do? Like, you can't. Until he does that, you can't hit him. I guess you can't even throw that at you. But here's the problem. Like, I, I get I got infinite health, so that's going to make it possible for me to... Throw it. I can't... Maybe the rocks are what's causing them to break? No, see, because he does that, and it's like, what do you do when you get down here? You have to fight in the fire now. But you're taking constant damage. When he does that, I can hit him, but I can't if I'm getting knocked back. There's how I hit him. Get him to throw that thing. Come on, throw the thing, dude. And then I turned the wrong direction, but at least I hit him. This boss is annoying. I wouldn't even know how you'd beat him without the cheats. I'd have no way of knowing how you do this. But these responsive, ir <laughs> unresponsive controls, it, it really wouldn't matter. One more hit, come on. Toss the No! Stop following me. Throw the thing, and then you're going to... Throw the thing. There you go. Uh, I was turned because it freaking get hit by the lava. He's bouncing me. See? The stupid lava keeps bouncing me back. Good God. Just get hit, dude. Stop turning me around. The stupid lava's turning me around. This freaking air. Thank goodness. All right, here we go. Well, at least I can beat him up pretty easy. All he does is cause those hands to pop up. 
and go and kick him. Got him. Alright, now we gotta fight the, the drill bit. Well, I can't... What do I... How do I hurt it? Oh, I bet... Okay, there. When it's open. You can't hurt it until it opens up on... Right. How do you hurt it? Oh, okay, we got. Okay, boom. Here we go. Here we go. That's the best way to do it. Just kick on. Why am I not? Oh my gosh, these bosses. Every one of them blocks. It's like staying in front until they do this. And then I don't hit because I get knocked back. Why am I. This is annoying. Alright. Let's get right under him when he does that. I can if I get knocked back by those stupid cubes he's dropping. Oh, these bosses are a pain. Two more hits. Man, if I wouldn't got knocked back by the stupid, be one more hit. Boom. Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo, boss time. Final boss. He never gets a chance to attack because I just keep shooting him. With... Now, this is going to take forever, though, I'll say that because this just doesn't do that much damage. Of course, hitting him is going to be a little harder because so, hitting him like that, I get. Now, if he keeps doing that, I 
can finish him quicker. That kick does way more damage. And Baron Zemo is defeated. And I know it. Alright, final boss. Or at least I think it is. Not one of those that blocks. I can hear me does that. Trying to get him with a kick, though. There we go. There we go. Going down, General something or other. I didn't even pay attention to this knife. <laughs> Got him. Boom! There went. Iron Man flew away. You gotta get the cube. Congratulations, the evil menace has been defeated. The universe is safe for now. Nice. Oh, is that it? So that's the end of it? Alright, guys, that was uh, Iron Man for the Game Gear. Um, yeah, it was alright. Like, it was an okay game. The controls were kind of clunky. Like, when you would tell him to attack, there was a. It almost felt like they were very. Um, rough like controls like uh, what I mean is is like when you would press a button there was some delay with it but um, that will be it for me if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe I do boss cutscenes of Game Gear Arcade NES GBA I'm always expanding out I also play free independent horror games and just independent games in general so check those out as well and that will be it for me and until next time guys keep up the positivity <laughs>